up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited to be bringing you guys this video. I'm super excited to dip into this palette and play with it and share my thoughts on the palette with you guys. So right here I have the Alondra Desi palette. She collaborated with Glamlight to create this palette. So huge congrats to you, babe. The palette is beautiful. If you guys want to know my thoughts on it and if you guys want to see the look that I created with it, go ahead and just keep on watching. All right guys, so before we get into the look, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the palette. Um, this is the Alondra Desi palette with Glamlight and the packaging looks a little bit like this and then on the back it says Alondra Desi it says hey babes makeup has always been one of my biggest passions and as a professional makeup artist I've always dreamed of being able to create palette that allows women of all skin tones to create the most glamorous looks the Glamlight family finally brought my dream to life with a 15 color palette that we custom created with not only all of my favorite colors but the most pop in pigmentation and blendability I could have ever imagined I'm so excited to share this amazing collection of my favorite shadows with all of you this is Alondra and there's a picture of Laundra in the back. She's looking bootyful. And this is the actual palette. I've actually had it for like a couple weeks now. I've played with it once before, so I kind of know what I like and what I don't like of the palette. So I'll be sharing all of my thoughts on the palette with you guys today. Um, it does have a really big mirror, which I thought was so good there's like oh, i hate when palettes don't have a mirror in them and so this is going to be really good for like if you're traveling and even when i'm filming my tutorials i can go ahead and just use this mirror because it's a freaking huge mirror it is 15 different colors um in the palette um there's some mattes right here the the yellow and the red really catch my attention there's some mattes and there's some shimmer colors um, i'll do a couple swatches for you guys i'm going to take that red shade and the yellow shade and kind of swatch them for you guys. Swatches don't really mean so much to me just because to me it's all about how these shadows work on my eyes. But I'll do a couple just in case you guys want to see that. That is the red. And that is the yellow. And I'll do some of the shimmery shades for y'all. The shimmer shades are the ones that are like, you guys see that? That shit is pigmented, bitch. Pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and just start by priming my eyelids. Um, I think I might add a little bit of powder under my eyes just to catch any fallout if there is some. Uh, to me, I don't really care if there's a lot of fallout or as long as it's not like a crazy amount of fallout. I don't really care so much just because I usually have my... Um, I usually do my eyes before my face makeup, but today I was filming a different video, so that's why my face makeup is already done. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion in the shade Eden, and I'm going to use this to prime my eyelid. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is I'm going to dip into that red matte, that matte red shade right here, the shade Selena. And it looks freaking beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Oh, there definitely is some fallout there. So I'm going to go ahead and top off my brush before I go back in. Like I said, I don't really care for fallout. I don't really care if there is some as long as it's not like a crazy amount. I don't really mind it so much. As long as the shadows are pigmented and there's not a crazy amount of fallout. Then I don't mind it. I'm going to pack this shadow on my outer corner. And I did try the palette once before. I think I told you guys that earlier. But I already know basically some things that I like and some things that I don't of the palette. And there is a little bit of fallout. I don't know if I should wipe it now. I'm going to wipe it away now. And then I'm going to add a little more powder just to catch any more fallout that there could be. And it didn't stain my face or anything or ruin my face makeup. I'm going to try to diffuse the edges of this shadow a little bit. And now I'm going to go, and now I'm going to take the shade Sunshine. And it's that like yellow shade right there. And I'm going to use this shade to kind of blend out this red. I'm gonna take more of that shade Selena and I'm just gonna basically blend all my colors together. I'm gonna blend it into my crease. 
I'm just trying my best to blend them out. The shadows are blending out pretty nice. Fallout is not crazy or anything. I don't really care so much. Laying this in here. And then I'm also going to take that shade and then also add it on my lower lash and kind of connect it to the whole eye look. It looks really, really pretty, you guys. Like, wow. I'm taking more of that shade Sunshine and just kind of diffusing the edges of that red using this shade. And it actually looks really, really pretty. The first time I used the palette, I liked it. Like, it's a really, really beautiful palette. And I don't want anybody to take this in, like, a negative way at all. Um, but I like to, you know, say my honest opinions. I really, really loved the palette. But the only thing I didn't like was, is, not that I didn't like, but, is I used it kind of like the look. It's just like the look that I did the first time just didn't go with the palette. Like, it just didn't look right. Um, but wow, it looks really, really nice, you guys. I'm using me as in. It looks really nice, that red, and it goes into, like, the yellow. It just looks super freaking nice. I love it. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take the shade, should I take the shade Poppin' or the shade Glam? Hmm. Which one would look better? Let me try to... Glam. Poppin'. Ooh, Inner Beauty looks really pretty. Inner Beauty, ooh. Bougie looks pretty too, though. Hmm. I'm going to take the shade Inner Beauty. I'm going to be using this with my finger. I think the best way to use uh, the shimmer shades is with your finger. They're not really like shimmer shades. They're more like cream shadows. And that's where I feel like I went wrong the first time is the first look that I did. I did like a... Um, I was trying to do like a half cut crease and it just didn't like the cream shadow just didn't sit right on my concealer. It just didn't sit right because they're both kind of like really, really creamy. And I'm also going to take the shade Poppin' and just kind of pop that on top. Yeah, these are super freaking pretty, um, but they're definitely not like shimmer shades, you guys. They're definitely more like cream shadows and I really, really recommend that you use your finger with them. Or they might not sit right and it's just not gonna be a good look but wow I really really like this I'm gonna show you guys I'll zoom in kind of what this looks like this is basically my look um, as you guys can see there's a little bit of fallout but it's not crazy or anything I don't really care for fallout because I do my face makeup first I mean my eye makeup first and I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash a little bit more I'm taking the shade, I'm going to take that yellow shade as well, and kind of add it down there, connect it with the whole eye look. Yeah, this is so pretty. Freaking love it, you guys. I love this look. Oh, I have a little fallout actually right here. I hope it doesn't ruin my makeup. Okay, it didn't. We're all good there. Um, I freaking love it. So, the mattes, I think, are really, really nice. The shimmers are also really, really nice, but like I said, they're not really shimmers. They're more like cream shadows. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on my other eye, pop on some lashes. Um, I think for this look, I might do liner. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye, and then we'll move on. matte lip paint and I wish I could tell you guys what shade this is in but I can't because I don't know I believe I got this in like uh like in a goodie bag from Ipsy but it doesn't have like a shade name I don't know if it worked off or what but you guys do not sleep on these galactic lipsticks they're just literally so bomb I don't know like the formula this is probably like 
This one and the Pixie, the Pixie ones are also really, really bomb. Um, I actually have one right here to show you guys. The Pixie um, Matte Last Liquid Lips are also really bomb. But you guys, the Girlactic is probably like the best liquid lipstick formula I've ever tried in my life. It's so thin. These ones are like the best, the freaking best. The formula is so thin, it doesn't feel like drying on your lips. And, it, and then like when you eat, like it doesn't come off all like crumbly and shit. Like it just comes off like really evenly and like... I don't know, I just love it. Go ahead and apply this all over my lips and that is basically it for the look. Um completed look you guys this is the end of this video so basically my final thoughts I freaking love the eye look I think that the palette is beautiful I love like all of the shades and everything um, the mattes are super freaking pretty they blend out nice everything is pretty much good the only thing that is kind of negative and I really hope nobody takes this is like like flips it around and makes it super negative because this is not like any hate towards laundry or any hate towards you know the palette I freaking love the palette um but the shimmer shades are not really so much shimmers. They're more like cream shadows. So if you don't set your base like down for like your eyes, it just probably won't mix well. Um, and if you're going to do a cut crease and you cut your crease with the concealer and you don't set it down before you go in with this, like it's just not going to mix well. So if you guys are going to be using the cream shadows, make sure you kind of, your base isn't super, super tacky or it's just not going to mix well. Um, but I think that the shimmers are bomb. The cream shadows are bomb. I think that they're bomb. They're super pigmented. Um, you just kind of have to, you know, know how to use them a little bit more. And then the mattes I think are bomb. Um, overall, I really, really do like the palette. Once again, a huge congrats to Alondra. She did an amazing job. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your notifications on. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know if you guys are going to get the palette and if you guys have already gotten the palette, what you guys think of it. Love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.